Well, if you enjoy darts, this is the place to be. We're in the wonderful Melia Hotel in Benidorm. Uh, this is the PDC European Tournament. It's the Spanish Darts Trophy, and some of the world's top players are here this weekend. Aviva TV has been given access to interview those players and to bring you all the fun, excitement and razzmatazz that is professional darts. James, um, a few hours before you start playing darts uh, today, uh, you're not a well boy, are you? I feel how I look. <laughs> Rudolph knows I have a grown facial hair. Oh, dear me. Don't know why I'm here, to be honest with you. Why on earth, or how do you play darts uh, in this sort of condition? Um, it's a mental game, isn't it, you know? So if you're strong upstairs, you'll be all right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you'll be uh, in front of uh, a lot of, of your fans and you, you, you've got to put on a show for them. <laughs> They've come to Benidorm to see you. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> um, no, no, I mean, everyone's come here just to watch darts, you know. Um, if some of their favourite players are up there in front of them, it's a bonus. If not, they're still going to get to watch some great games today. Yeah. World number three, uh, things are going very well. Um, not as well as they should be. Really? Um, no, no. Um, an unfortunate World Championships. Um, but, you know, we're getting there slowly but surely. Yeah. And um, Benidorm, do you like Benidorm? Um, I haven't actually seen much of Benidorm. Any time I come here, I'm in, in the hall playing darts, yeah. and as soon as i finish, finished, I go home. So yeah. I haven't seen much, but, you know, people seem very nice. The life of a professional darts player, is it literally that? Hotel, tournament, hotel, tournament? Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing else. You know, there's no need to be anymore. Because we go from hotel to hotel and tournament every weekend, it's you know you, you don't get time to stay around and enjoy things and to see the good things. Um, but we enjoy our two holidays a year we get, so that's good. But you know, it's, it's all for it's all for. I don't think there's any real. I don't know, don't know the reason why any of us play it. Um, obviously, the main reasons are because of the the reward and, and the winning and obviously the money. Um, but we do go through some some tough times with it, so. Well, we wish you luck today. Thank uh, you. Hope you get through the day. And uh, thanks for chatting to us. Thank you very much. Hope you all catch my cold. <laughs> Thank you. Raymond, a couple of hours before you start playing. Um, what do you do now before you get to the stage? Just practicing. Yeah. Just over there, there are 16 practice boards. Uh, so me and my uh, fellow countrymen, Vincent van der Voort, Michael van Gerwen, and Jelle Klaassen are uh, co stomping or practicing together, yeah. make funny jokes. And then, uh, yeah, it's just practice, 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 practice. And then 12, uh, 12 o'clock it starts and then depends on what time you play. So sometimes you're straight on at 12 or maybe you wait two hours or something like that. Yeah, uh, quite a bit of waiting around in this game. Yeah, that's true. But I, I played yeah, many, many yeah, bigger tournaments before when, when I was playing in the other uh, competitions, you know, like the Dutch Open with 3,800 men. And then you play uh, once in every five hours or something. Yeah, so that's yeah. a lot. But the PDC is fantastic, you know. And you don't wait that long, maybe one hour, and then, then you're on again. And it's a great show nowadays. It's perfect. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know why, actually. But I, I think uh, thanks to the PDC um, and the crowd, uh, who's making a fantastic show. You know, if I come on stage in, in, in UK, it's always Barney Army, you know. Yeah. And then, yeah, it's, it's, it's a big party and everyone wants to, wants to be there, you know. Um, Dutch people are, are different, they think, well, I watch it at home, you know, but yeah. if you're in the venue actually there, it's fantastic and uh, 
more of my, my friends wants to come over and watch me in England because, uh, or, or UK, Scotland, Wales, uh, Ireland, they, uh, yeah, they really want to be part of it. Growing up in Holland, did you ever think that you'd be a professional darts player? Was that, was that the aim? Yeah, there, there, was a, there was a big dream, but I never ever thought uh, it could happen for, for a Dutch guy like me. You know, I was working at the Post that time, and uh, I remember 11 January 1998, I fell on my knees in Lakeside, and then uh, I was no postman anymore. I was a, a celebrity in Holland, yeah. and uh, that's already 14 years ago. So, um, yeah, life runs fast since that time, but uh, I'm enjoying it still every day. Yeah, um, it's a tough life though, isn't it? Mm. People think it's very glamorous, but it is a very tough life. It's it's love travelling. Yeah, yeah. the, the travelling kills you. You know, if you if you see the uh, the Premier League, um, I have to fly over every single Wednesday, um, or I fly back, uh, play on a Thursday, then the Premier League night, then fly back on Friday morning, or stay for the weekends, doing the UK Opens or Pro Tours like this weekend, and then fly back in Monday to Holland and go back Wednesday again, and that's for 14 weeks. So it's, it's a lot of people think uh, he's complaining a lot, but it's, uh, it's serious. It's, uh, the traveling costs you a lot of uh, yeah. losing, losing times. You know? yeah. yeah. And you're a family man? Yeah, yeah. I am, yeah. That, I have, uh, that must children. be difficult. Of course, they yeah. miss me, they miss yeah. their father, of course. And uh, as soon as I got a weekend off, I do some, some nice things with them. Yeah. We go to the, to the town and have something to eat or do some shopping together and uh, spend, spend time with them. Um, here in Spain, I own an apartment since, uh, since November last year. That's Guadalajara del Secura. That's, um, I think, an hour from here. So last October, we, we went there, me and my wife, and uh, we had a good run here, uh, runner-up, and uh, one day uh, joined third. So I hope, uh, yeah, we'll have a good go today and tomorrow as well. I hope uh, members of the Barmy Army will be here uh, <laughs> yeah. supporting you. I'm sure they will be. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, well, I don't know why, but... Um, for some reason they uh, they like me and uh, <laughs> I think that's great. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for chatting yeah, to us. Cheers. Thank you. Simon, we're sitting down doing this interview because uh, you're still suffering with your ankle, which uh, well, it's an injury that you suffered in uh, November last year here. Yeah, that's right. It's still giving me a lot of trouble. It's uh, taking a long time to heal because I'm on it all the time. So yeah, yeah just slowly. Can you tell us what happened? I fell over. Uh, that, that's all I'll say. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, but uh, it's incredible, isn't it, how, how it's affected you? Yeah, it's actually sort of helped me in one way. It's changed my game. Uh, I'm a bit more slower, but it's also helped, helped me um, concentration-wise. Yeah. So it's been a good thing in one way, but a bad in another. Yeah. Uh, Benidorm, do you, do you like it here? I do like it here, but I think this place is a bit cursed. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully you'll break that curse today. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. I mean, I'm looking forward to today and it uh, should be a good day. Yeah. I've noticed you're, you're holding your darts. Uh, are you practising at the moment prior yes. to the tournament? Yes, I am, yeah. I just keep them warm, keep them body temperature. Yeah. <laughs> and do you keep them with you all the time? Is it a bit like a snooker player? Do they never leave your side? I never leave my darts anywhere. They're, they're either in my pocket or in my hand. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. And just uh, which darts do you use? Uh, this is my own design, wizard dart with the gold coating. Right. Yeah. These are a new set, so I'm breaking these in this tournament. Oh, right. So you don't keep them, you know, for long periods of time? No, I, I go through a set about every month and then I, I change for a new set. Yeah. And just describe to me, because I'll never be in that position, what's it like being in a big tournament on the hockey with all these people behind you chanting, what does it feel like? It is a really good feeling, it's amazing, it's hard to describe, it's just, you know, you feel fantastic and to make people happy is, is a good feeling as well. But do you block them out when you're actually playing? Can you still hear them shouting? Yeah, it's really strange, it's hard to describe. You're up there, you're playing, you hear everything but also you're in deep concentration but you hear all the little noises, it's yeah. funny. Because it's very different to a, a lot of uh, the sort of skill sports, you know, snooker, for example, death, you know, deathly hush everywhere. Uh, with darts, you know, the, the atmosphere and, and uh, all the shouting and chanting, it's all part of it. Yeah, I, I don't know how the guys play with no noise. I mean, you're probably waiting for, for someone to cough or a phone to ring or something like that when it's dead quiet. Yeah. Now, I'm standing where a lot of darts players would like to be standing one day. Uh, Ted Hankey, this is uh, fairly familiar for you. Yeah, I've been on a few hockeys in my life, yeah. yeah. Um, 
Benidorm, looking forward to it? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, I'm here for the first time and uh, I'm just looking forward to getting practice in and going on, hopefully do, doing well and having a good day, to be honest. Yeah. It's the first time playing on the PDC circuit as well, so I'm looking forward to it, like I say. I know, you've uh, you've switched recently. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everyone's got to make the decisions. I made my decision. I'm quite happy to be here, to be with players that I've been with before in the past and obviously, like I say, looking forward to it. A, a lot of youngsters will be watching this. Is it uh, a sport that you would recommend to them? Yeah, of course. I mean, I mean any sport's good for children or, or young people growing up. But, I mean, darts is a great sport. We love it. Um, obviously, the mathematical side of it. Yeah. And, obviously, there's a lot of money in it as well. So, yeah, I mean, if, just get a set of darts, start playing with them and see if you like it. If you like it, then practice and get them with it. So, it, the future looks very bright for the sport of darts. Mm. So, from here, what's uh, the sort of next six months looking like for you? Oh, it, it's hectic. I've got exhibitions to do and, obviously, the, the, circuit, the circuit and, uh, you know, just you never stop, really. I think it does stop somewhere around about August. Do you ever get a chance to think about anything else but darts? Well, I mean, when I'm at home, I get my time. I've got time with the kids and obviously relax, do what I'm doing, a bit of gardening, because I like doing a bit of gardening. So, you know, you do get a little bit of time, but obviously, you know, your mind's got to be set on doing the job, which is playing darts. Yeah, I just can't imagine Ted Hankey in the garden. Well, you know, I do. I grow my strawberries and tomatoes and all sorts of things, mate. <laughs> I quite, quite enjoy it, yeah. <laughs> and uh, the, the children... Do any of them sort of, will they be following in your footsteps? Well, yeah, my, my youngest son, uh, Tiggy Ted, we call him, little Edward, he's, he's six and he's got a magnetic dartboard and he's always on it. So as he grows up, you never know, he might keep going at it, which would be nice, really. It must be great for him to play dad, though. Well, yeah, I mean, he just stands and watches me. Obviously, he can't miss the big board, but he keeps showing me, look what I've got, look what I've got. You know, yeah. it's, it's very good, yeah. Uh, he must be so proud as well. I, I bet you're a great hit at the school. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I try not to go to school to be honest, I send the wife because they're always on you. Why are you doing well? You're so, but, yeah, no, it's, it's nice, you know what I mean? When people appreciate what you do, obviously you're doing it something right. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really happy in what I'm doing at the moment in my life, yeah. I was chatting to Simon and, uh, like you, he was grasping his, uh, his darts. Do they ever leave your side? No, not really. Um, things like when you're here, you're playing, you've always got to keep a feel on them because you can put them down, they can go cold. I just like to just keep them fresh in my hand, you know what I mean? So I'm just ready to go. If I was to give you an ordinary set of darts, for example, would I be able to beat you? Would it make that well, difference? Well, no, I mean, I could still play, obviously. You could still throw the darts, but when you're, you're doing what you're doing as a job, as a profession here now, you've got to have your own tools, which are them, and I yeah. wouldn't go anywhere else without them. And does it just become mechanical in the end? It, it, it is, yeah. I think with a lot of players it's mechanical. Some players might have to just work a little bit harder, but you know, once you've been practising as you have, have all week and you're ready to play tournaments, you're just constantly throwing. It's just a natural action. And what do you need to be a good darts player? Is it hand-eye coordination? It's, it's both, really, yeah. I mean, you've got to have a good brain, obviously. You've got to be able to count quickly and you've got to just have a lot of patience and just be calm and just be very confident in what you're doing within yourself. Yeah. See, that was always my problem. <clears throat> I couldn't count without a calculator. So I yeah. got fed up playing. Um, you really need to be able to count, don't yeah. you? Yeah. You've got to count. I mean, other than that, I mean, I, I used to play with a few players that just hit big scores to leave little doubles yeah. because they couldn't count. <laughs> I mean, that's one way of doing it. But, I mean, obviously, this professional game, you've got to have it spot on, you know what I mean? So, yeah. And does it help you in your <clears throat> daily life being able to do this sort of mental arithmetic? Well, you know, it just comes naturally, doesn't it? You know, when, once you've been doing it for so long, it's in your head and you don't go wrong. But walking around Tesco's, you know, can you add up, you know, the Oh, I don't just chuck it in the trolley, mate. I can't be bothered. <laughs> I can't be bothered count off. <laughs> Ted, thank you for chatting yeah, with us. Cheers, thank mate. You. No problem. The Spanish Dance Trophy is growing in popularity and is fast becoming a firm favourite with the players on the PDC Pro Tour circuit. Simon Baldock reporting for Viva TV in Benidorm. <laughs>